Hey, how's it going everyone? What is up? Welcome back to the channel and some possible Mortal Kombat news. Now, as I say with all these events and possible um, news, this possible news at events where this game ain't even really scheduled to be, you have to take all of this with a grain of salt. This is uh, pure theory, uh, pure speculation at this point, but I do want to talk to you guys about an event that is coming up on February 26th and 27th called the IGN Fan Fest. There was a big update to this last night, yesterday. Uh, actually, it might have been on the 10th. I'm not sure. Uh, either way, there was a big update uh, doing the full lineup and schedule, and I wanted to take a look at it and talk about the possibility of Mortal Kombat being there, and how likely we are to actually get some news for MK11, or maybe even the MK movie there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this one. So if you guys don't know what this is, this is IGN Fan Fest. I think it happens every year. Uh, it's a pretty big event, and this year it is happening on February 26th and 27th. It reads, save the day, because IGN is excited to bring you a whole new way to celebrate all of your favorite games, movies, and TV series, IGN Fan Fest. On February 26th and 27th, the free two-day digital event will feature exciting first looks, exclusive gameplay, cast reunions, new details, and interviews from around the world, spotlighting some of the biggest and most anticipated entertainment and games of the year. The virtual event will be streamed across IGN's website, social, and video platforms, and apps, and even on your Samsung TV. Here's a list of uh, whatever. And it's not just just about the news exclusives and sneak peeks, IGN Fan Fest is all about the fans. See which titles will be spotlighted and how you can submit whatever, whatever. And then it goes on to say IGN Fan Fest will bring you panels from some of the biggest upcoming games, movies, etc. So on and so forth, saying the same thing that you just said. And uh, here we have Batman Beyond, Cast Reunion, and Table Read, Be Bethesda's Deathloop, I guess that's a new game coming from Bethesda that I haven't heard of, Warner Brothers Pictures and Legendary Pictures, Godzilla vs. Kong, Amazon Prime's Invincible, Netflix's Jupiter, Netflix's Shadow and Bone, and Zack Snyder's Justice League. Uh, so, one thing to take away from that, I'm really excited for Zack Snyder's Justice League cut. Really excited for that. But the thing at the bottom you do have to look at and more surprises. So, of course, it's talked about video games in this article. And I'm assuming they're talking about more than one video game. Uh, seeing as Bethesda's Deathloop was the only video game actually talked about on this lineup. So, uh, Mortal Kombat being as big of a game as it is. Warner Brother Pictures being there for Godzilla vs. Kong. There's definitely a chance that we could see something for uh, the Mortal Kombat movie there. A trailer for the movie. I'm honestly starting to think that that fake... Uh, Twitter profile wasn't really fake at all, seeing as IGN FanFest is happening on February 26th, and what was in the title, what was in the bio of that uh, Twitter account, that fake Twitter account, uh, was, you know, listing a trailer for February 26th. Seeing as Warner Brother Pictures is going to be there, it looks like we could possibly get the trailer for the Mortal Kombat movie there. Seeing as it doesn't look like it's going to drop between now and then uh, otherwise, and that is a pretty big event, it is happening, um, so I definitely think we could see a trailer for the Mortal Kombat movie there. Hopefully, fucking hopefully, somebody said in the comments of uh, my last Mortal Kombat movie video uh, saying that we're going to get the movie before the fucking trailer, and that is 100% true. That is what's going to happen. Uh, that's at least what I feel like. But there's also the possibility for the Mortal Kombat game to be there. Now, we all know Mortal Kombat 11 uh, is a very big game. There was a lot of casual fan base in this game, and a lot of them actually stuck around surprisingly enough. I guess it was just the game designed for them, which is completely good, and it really kept them there and uh, kept them in. Definitely feel like there's a lot more players than there was at the end of Injustice 2 and MKX, but that's neither here, here nor there. With it being such a big event, and we know more content is coming for Mortal Kombat 11, I definitely see a possibility of the game actually being there. Uh, seeing at least a teaser for the next DLC, maybe, maybe a teaser, maybe they'll show up and be like, hey, there's more coming, or hell, maybe we might get the uh, announcement for the next whatever game from NRS, whether it's Marvel, whether it's uh, another Injustice, whether they go straight into MK12, who knows? Um, but it is a real possibility that NetherRealm Studios could actually be there with WB. We'll have to sit back and wait and see, as we do on most things. But there's also the very real possibility of this game being too far in its life cycle for them to want to spend the money on marketing of that stature. Now, I don't know exactly how much it costs to get uh, a slot at something like this, or whether, you know, they just give the slots away because it's free, free real estate for IGN, free advertising for IGN's website. I guess I, I don't really know the metrics of that, but there 
there are a lot more hype things going on right now, especially hype games. Uh, even on the fighting game category, they could get something like Guilty Gear Strive, which, which comes out in April and has a beta coming out next week. They could definitely get that game there. Or they could get King of Fighters, a King of Fighters uh, 15 trailer, which is coming out this year. They're releasing trailers too. They have been releasing trailers for the past few, four weeks, something like that. So, I mean, even for fighting games, they could definitely get a more relevant game in that slot. But Mortal Kombat is Mortal Kombat. It does carry that big name. So there still is a definite possibility that we could see it there. Uh, but in my opinion, those those chances are not slim to none. Uh, but I probably say about 60-40 in the odds of not seeing it there. I don't want to be pessimistic when it comes to it. But MK11, I want to say it's overstake. It's welcome. Uh, but it kind of has. And they've been very piss poor about news and updates. And letting us know that the game is even still alive and still going to receive content. Uh, so it's, it's just really hard to tell when it comes to this game. It's hard to speculate on anything because they've been so quiet and closed off when it's come to the updates and announcements. But this event happens in 14 days. So we're not that far out from it. Two weeks exactly. We'll just have to sit back and wait and see. I'll be streaming the event live. I don't know if I'm going to be on YouTube or Twitch doing the event yet. But just know I will be streaming it live. So if you're interested in that, link in the description down below to my Twitch channel. Go follow over there. And make sure you're subscribed here on YouTube with your notifications on just in case I stream it over here. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Do you think we have the possibility to see either uh, major thing going on for Mortal Kombat at this event? Do you think we'll see a movie trailer there? Do you think we'll see the movie trailer before then? Do you think we're not going to see the fucking movie trailer until after the movie comes out? Again, that was a top tier comment. And also, do you think we're going to see anything for Mortal Kombat 11 there, or NRS in general? Let me know in the comments down below. Very interested to hear what you guys have to say about that. Huge shout out to my supporters. I appreciate everybody who supports the channel here on YouTube, or over on Twitch, or on Patreon. You guys are fucking awesome. Thank you for supporting the channel. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Tootin. I've been your host, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.